In this video, we're going to complete example two, and we have some fractions that are being divided by another fraction. And I have a three step process that we're going to follow. All right, when you do it, you keep the first fraction the same. Our first fraction in question A was two over three or two thirds. And you will notice with the first dot point, it says find the reciprocal of the second fraction or flip it. So our second fraction was three over four. Its reciprocal is four over three. We just flipped the fraction. The second step says to multiply the fractions. So instead of dividing them now, we're going to multiply them. So basically what we did is we flipped the second fraction and we changed the divide to multiplication. Now it's really easy to work out. All we need to do is multiply the top two numbers. Two times four is eight. And the bottom two numbers, three times three is nine. That concludes question A. Let's now move on to question B. Once again, the first fraction stays the same, three over five. And the second fraction must be flipped. Instead of four over six, it's now six over four. And we change the divide to multiplication. What do we get this time? Well, three times six is 18 and five times four is 20. The third dot point said we should express our solution in simplest form, which we can do. 18 over 20 can be halved, giving us nine over 10. Let's now move on to question C. We're just gonna follow the exact same process again. The first fraction stays the same, four over seven. Our second fraction is flipped. Five over seven becomes seven over five, and our divide becomes multiplication. Now it is really easy to work out. Now, because we have to simplify, I'm gonna use a little trick. If I have the same number above as I do below, they can cancel out. And when I multiply these together, I get the solution four over five. All right, moving on to question D. Once again, the first fraction stays the same, five over six. The second fraction is flipped, it becomes three over one, and the divide becomes times. When we multiply the top two numbers, five times three, we get 15, and the numbers at the bottom, six times one, we get six. You will notice this is an improper fraction, so it would be good if we can convert it to a mixed numeral. To do that, we just think, okay, how many times does the six fit inside of the 15? I can fit it in twice. Six times two is 12, and I had a remainder of three. That goes at the top, that becomes my numerator, and my denominator stays the same. It was six before, and it stays as six in my solution. I get two and three over six. Remembering that we need to simplify this Three over six is the same as writing a half, so we can rewrite the solution as two and a half. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.